Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Today I will show you how to solve a problem of repeater field taking too much space in the browser. For example, you have repeater field with three items and for that you need to scroll down to just fill them in. Although this is not used on the right and also the actual column values don't take that much space. Also, this is repeating, so language and title. This is a set of repeating labels and all of that makes it all the way down vertical. In this case, I've zoomed a browser a bit to prove the point, but still, we can improve that a lot. And in this video, I will show you two ways. This comes almost traditionally now from Discord, official Discord of Filament, where CodeJam shared some ideas of how to improve each repeater entry to just take less space. So here's an example code with the solution. This comes from one of our demo projects with repeater from tutorial on Laravel daily on how to set the values manually. So I will link that one in the description below as well if you're interested. But in this video, let's focus on visual repeater space. So the original repeater is just with schema and there are two solutions for visual space and you can see them actually both on the screen, but let's try one by one. First, without any plugins or without any changes outside of repeater, you can do two things. First, do that full span, which is, if we refresh, actually making it worse. So now it takes all the space, although it doesn't need that space, but then the second step is grid. So if we use grid three, for example, with three columns, we refresh and now see how it looks. So this is probably one of the quickest ways how you can save the vertical space in favor of horizontal space for repeaters. But then there's also a plugin mentioned by the author himself on Discord by Adam here. So Adam codes table repeater, table repeater plugin, this in the official plugins page of Filament, and I've tried it out. It's very simple to install. You just do compose require, then optionally, as I understand, you can configure your custom theme and the usage is just instead of a regular repeater, you just use table repeater and then you define the headers, one header column for each column in your repeater. So let's comment those two back and let's enable these instead of repeater make like this. So now we have table repeater make with headers and those language and title correspond to select and input fields in the schema. And now if we refresh that page, we will see a table. Of course, it still can be column span full, for example, and then it would look like this, but you see the idea, the repeater can be a table repeater without any changes in the repeater schema itself. It's just using different visual component. So I will link that plugin as well in the description below. What do you think? Do you have any other suggestions on how to customize the visual part of the repeater field? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.